Hello Virgos, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing today? And this is the reading for the week of July 20th through July 26, 2020. Lots of twos. And what that tells me this week is that I that this is a week that we need to realize that we are part of a whole. That we are not an island unto ourselves, but rather we are part of the universe, part of the world, part of a community, part of a family unit, part of something. And we need to remember those people or animals or um, friends, co-workers, whatever, and appreciate them. And we need to appreciate ourselves some too. So as I told you last week, we are going to, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards before we get here so I can spend more time telling you about your week. And the first thing we're going to pull from is the Animal Spirit Guides. Um, this is a deck I got in Sedona a few years ago. I haven't worked with it much, but I like it a lot. And what we get for you is the fox. Now, this card can mean a lot of different things. Um, this fox is very smart. He's cunning. He's crafty. That means he knows how to get around things. Or do things. That doesn't mean like he's sneaky, like some people think, but he's able to think through things. And this is a week that you need to channel your inner fox. The other thing about the fox is that he's almost like a chameleon. He can fit in anywhere. So this is a week that you don't go around fighting and tilting at windmills, but you're okay with just being you and being quiet. And going into the background almost, because that's what foxes do. But they're also very beautiful. I happen to like foxes. Now for our tarot, I'm kind of excited. I don't know. Oh, you're going to get the death card. And it's reversed, so that means it's watered down. Death does not mean literally death. Death means something is changing radically in your life right now. There's going to be some big changes. And the next card we get is the Seven of Swords. And this is a person that, who's in your life that you have, that you've been trusting, who isn't trustworthy. So I think that what's going to happen is that when you realize this person is, has not been trustworthy like you thought they were, you um, are, are going to change. There's going to be changes in your life. Um, and you need to have a backup plan. This card says, have a backup. And the final card, though, is a star, which is one of the best cards out there. And this card is about success and everything coming to fruition. So these changes are going to come about because of this person, I believe. But it's all going to work out, and you're going to be successful. Now we're going to pull from the Goddess Power Oracle deck. And the card we got is Metis. Metis is a card about wisdom. She, isn't she gorgeous? But she's saying that you have the wisdom inside of you. Which even more so because you've had that person in your life that hasn't been what they seem. That, and I think that this card, the Fox card is saying, be cunning about how you confront them the person that is not trustworthy. But you have all that wisdom. You already know that this person isn't trustworthy. You've known it all along. Whether it's a friend or a lover or a spouse, you've known that. And then you have, our next card is Green Quartz. And this is from the Spir Crystal Spirits Oracle. And this sp spiritual... Uh, Green quartz is about your heart because green is, is the heart chakra, but it's also a spiritual, insightful card. And I think that goes along with Metis and your wisdom. You have all the answers inside of yourself right now that you need to deal with this week and to deal with these changes that are going to happen really radically fast. Um, and so be prepared. 
but draw upon that spiritual wealth that you have inside of yourself. Now I'm going to look at my crystal ball, and this is a purple crystal ball, which is purple is a good psychic color. Um, it's like your um, crown chakra, and um, but this is a true crystal ball. It's made from crystal. Um, I often use a quartz crystal ball because they have natural inclusions in there, and I it's kind of you can look in there and see things like like you do a kaleidoscope or the clouds or things like that. So with this one, it's I'm literally relying upon my psychic abilities, and it's scary to do that in front of God and everybody. But so far, it's been working pretty good, so I'm okay. Uh, I see an ear. The ear tells me you need to be listening. Um, and that may be listening to your heart, but you need to listen. Um, and don't do all the talking, but do the listening. I see a person sitting there um, <clears throat> looking at a light and being very um, pensive and, and thinking. And so it's time for you to look inside, just like the green quartz is telling you. And you have that wisdom. And I say spring. So these changes that are going to happen, that's going to come about pretty radically, is a springboard to your future. So it's not a negative death, but it's going to lead to some really great things for you. But that doesn't mean that change is ever easy. So Virgos, if you all want to do a private reading, send me a text, 405-512-9400. Or send me a PM at Belladonna Moonbeams. And if not, I'll see you next week. Bye.